all right social security trust funds finished finishes okay actually finishes in uh in uh let me let me fix that real quickly before i show it again finishes in 12 years that's crazy right so there's something i wanted to share with you really quickly is let's go ahead and share that with you and this is not something i'm making up and this, the idea of this is not to scare you that's not the point here okay the point is not to scare you that's not what i'm trying to do i guarantee you the point is to uh shed some light on some things you may want to mitigate against okay uh, it's very very easy to get lost in the shuffle of things when it comes to the uh, when it when it comes to uh, when it comes to um, making money when it comes to fin your financial life right it's very very easy to get lost in the shuffle of things um, the natural thing that we all do is we sell our time in exchange for money right this is the news on CNBC let me just share that with you really quickly right what we do is we end up sell is the, you know it's a little bit easier to to sell our time right because all you have to do is find a job you find a job uh they they say hey come in 40 hours a week or give us 40 hours of your of your life every week and then we pay you forty thousand dollars a year right the 40 40 40 plan right and then you're probably trying to pay off forty thousand dollars in school loans somewhere and uh and then there's no hope of retirement for another 40 years right that's the that's the plan that most people follow because they trust in this uh thing you're looking at right now social security right but i mean look at this news right here it's crazy that the one thing that people count on potentially it's going to be over social security projected to run out of money sooner than expected due to covid and treasury right well it was that's only a year closer by the way or a year earlier than they had projected before and that's crazy <laughs> like because um when you think about it um you would think like covid created like this mask but it's actually always been this way this thing is uh, uh by many I, I, by many people have claimed that this is actually um a ponzi scheme okay meaning it's not sustainable that's the whole idea of ponzi scheme ponzi scheme is not it's neither right or wrong in the grand scheme of things because everyone's standard of right and wrong is based on their personal morals and you can't judge other people based on your standard the only uh, the only authorities and institutions that are allowed to do that is the court of law in any land right but in the case of just having an opinion here social security is a ponzi scheme according to many people because it's simply not sustainable over time right and uh meaning at some point the whole thing is gonna crumble uh that's what they're saying now is it true is it wrong is it right listen i'm just gonna be straight up honest with you i haven't done enough economy studies to know that for a fact i'm just going by what they're saying but i also trust the media to a certain extent i don't trust the media at all but to an extent i have to look at what's going on in the media uh, a lot of them have uh, their own agendas and stuff like that right but beyond that uh, the truth of the matter is that um, you don't want to rely your financial well-being um, either now or when you retire does not you don't want to be relying on these systems okay because systems do become obsolete okay once upon a time i was just watching biden talking about the um there's no more way to justify uh, uh an endless war right or the idea of building nation building other nations right and once upon a time 20 years ago that's an abomination that's an abominable thing to say but now it's become reality so my question for you is that oh, you really you really should not be relying on these things for retirement as a matter of fact for me as me as for me personally i don't care about retirement okay uh, I want to start right now, whatever your idea of retirement is, which is you wake up, you do what you want to do, I start right now. For me personally, I've been doing that for the past um, 15 years, okay, 14, 15 years, okay. Since 2005, I've been doing what I wanted to do full time, doing it since 2006, October, right. It's not about how much money I make. Honestly, we can figure that out because like I said, the more value you bring into this marketplace, the more money you're going to make. It's that simple, okay? Um, but 
But when it comes to action, the easy thing to do is to go in the direction of what you've always known, right? Or what the society says is the right thing to do, which is counting on social security, right? So social security pays, pays two different types of people, people that are disabled and people that are retired, right? I think it's 65 years, something like that. 65, 66, 67, something like that. You start getting paid social security a certain amount of money. Uh, which is not free because you've worked your whole life. That's why that money is there. But also uh, as part of the, uh, to take care of the society, okay? Uh, because you don't want people laying around and not you know, and not being taken care of, right? So, but that's the point of social security. But most people count on it because it's retirement. But the truth is that uh, this is the last thing you want to count on. If you're 30, 40 years old, please Please, please, if this money comes as a bonus later, sure, thank you, we'll take it, but don't rely on this. There are absolutely way in this time and ages for you to make enough money in a year to take care of you for the rest of your life. But again, it, you know, are you willing to sacrifice uh, six months, one year into learning some new skill set? But the first skill set I want you to really learn, okay, the first skill set I want you to learn is uh, is the skill set of learning how to uh, learning learning how to how to get paid from results, not from your time, not from selling your time. Uh, there's only so much time you have in any given day. You have eight hours to work, and if you work over eight hours, considered overtime, and there's a limit to that as as far as what you're allowed to do if you're working in the system, right? So my suggestion, my my um, uh, my suggestion to you is really think about this deeply. Do you really, really want to be depending on social security funds when it's already all kind of predictions out there that it's going down? Uh, but again, maybe it's not. But what I'm saying is that it's actually going to cost you nothing more than just the effort of being a hardworking person. You're already a hardworking person. I never have to sell people on hardworking. If I have to sell you on work ethics and hardworking, uh, you're probably not going to be watching this video. You're not going to be one of the two people watching this video, okay? You are probably going already working hard, but there's more to it, right? And in this time and age, uh, it's about learning how to create results, uh, regardless of your how much of your time involved or not, right? And you can flip that idea over and over, and you can make a lot more money in five years than you need for your whole family in a lifetime, as opposed to depending on Social Security. Now, I'm very aware that most people are not going to get this message. I'm very aware. That's okay, but that's the whole point. I just wanted to talk to that two people, right? That's gonna get this, and uh, hopefully that was enlightening and educational.